what an unbelievable experience it was to Captain XO. I wasn't even in the squad initially. There were other people that were in the squad and someone dropped out and I was able to kind of go in after that. To be allowed to do it and for the team to play the way that they played, it was just one of the most special footballing experiences that I've had in my entire life. And on the road to that, you guys were there every step of the way. Thank you for getting involved and getting behind what I was trying to do, which was ultimately make the best of an amazing situation that I was going to be offered. Pretty much done a whole Wembley series, and I'm going to create a Wembley playlist, so go check out the Wembley playlist. Also, I want to give a shout out, it's the first of many, hopefully, TQ Leo. He uh, messaged me on Instagram and said, can I get a shout out? And I thought, yeah, you can get a shout out, why not? You subscribe to the channel, you deserve that. And all of you guys in future videos, you should be getting shout outs as well. So if you want a shout out, then check out the tweet, retweet that tweet, which has the link to the video. It'll have a picture of me leading out EXO at Wembley. I'll also do the same on Instagram. All you gotta do is write a comment down below asking for a shout out, and I will pick a, a good few in the next video. And this can be a new thing that we do. So I'm going to go through the game and I'm going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about cafe and about everything. It's going to be amazing. We were able to go to the hotel f uh, hotel first where we had a, a player briefing and we also had that player briefing at a brunch with the F2 team who they were serious. They were deadly serious. You know, we've got Stephen Tries and Will who haven't got time for that kind of stuff. And it was a bit frosty. It was a bit icy, but uh, that's to be expected. Then we got on a coach to Wembley, which again is just like the coolest thing ever. And it got all dark. It was that's when the first bit of adrenaline rush and the, the hairs on my neck which basically stayed up for the rest of the day then getting to the changing room which was amazing the changing rooms were a lot bigger than my flat and then the next big thing was meeting Cafu Cafu was the coolest guy it was an education playing with him he was lovely got photos with everyone i was able to get a photo with him this shirt is now signed by Cafu. are you happy you're here or? Yeah, i think you'll be fine i think you'll be fine i think you'll be fine then it was down to business. Brian, who has just been so good to me and made me captain for this day, to lead out a team at Wembley is bigger than you guys will probably know because my dad, and it was pretty much 45 years to the day, there was about a week in it, he captained Cambridge University. I did it three, I did it two times, sorry, and played three times at Wembley. And he always spoke about how special it was. And it was something that I never expected to any, get anywhere near uh, achieving because it's such a unique thing for anyone to be able to play in a really competitive game in front of a massive crowd but I was able to do it and Brian is the one who's kind of given he was the you know he was the gaffer on the day and he was able to give me that opportunity to do it so that's something I'll kind of I'll hold with me for forever just give it everything know what you're gonna do do your job and that was something I said to the players in the in the team talk before which I, like, I don't think I've ever done a team talk that long before but it felt like it was the right time to do it I've got enough experience of playing in, in big games that mean a lot to me that I feel comfortable in those games because I know that I can do a job and I can step up my game. I just wanted to kind of give that confidence and that experience maybe to the rest of the lads. Some of the guys there won't have played in that kind of moment where it is it is a cup final, it is something that you've been thinking about for so long and it, sometimes it can get the better of players. And the other thing was, look, we were massive underdogs for the game. So I said to the guys, you're gonna need to dig in. You're gonna need to dig in. You're gonna need to grit your teeth. And that's a big thing in life. You need, sometimes you need to just, just hang in there. But I also knew we had a real chance of doing something special. There's gonna be a moment when you're when we first walk out or when we're in the tunnel or whatever it might be there's gonna be a moment where you go that's adrenaline tell yourself that that's not nerves that is adrenaline that's this is what it's about this is what it's about you know how excited I am for this and now we're here just do your best give it everything there is nothing else we can do apart from that think about what you're gonna do when you get the ball know your options because then when it happens you play it you do it you don't think about it Okay. When, when your mate gets the ball as well, be there for him. Make sure you're fucking easy available. When you see the ball going to him, you get in position so he's got an easy pass on. Don't leave him fucking on his own. And if someone does something good, I've said it the other week, make a fucking thing of it. Because in their mind, they're going, better not lose this one. So fucking create the momentum. You win a big tackle, let's all scream and go, yes, yeah. go big, okay? Because little things like that, it starts to add up. And then they can see the first goal. Then it's half time. Then they get really worried. Stick, lads, stick together, switch on, stop the jokes now, stop the jokes now, and let's, hey, let's, let's fucking cause a shock here. Stick together. Come on!
it's a moment that's going to stay with me forever. I had uh, goosebumps, and you can see how kind of switched on I was there. Like, you've seen that on telly a million times, and so for me to be able to do it myself, to wear that armband, to lead out the teams at Wembley and do what my dad did, uh, who's a, a, a man who I just totally respect and love. My family were all there, and uh, they really enjoyed it, and, and coming out, and you can see, I look to my left, and I you know, give them away, because I know exactly where they are in the crowd. To, to be able to do that for my best mate, and, and and my family to be there it was just honestly so so special here today and go on to the final oh it looks um, like Trezeguet is uh, in the starting lineup oh he it is clearly there. made a change from well, what I we saw initially David Gallagher was the referee we'll talk about him in a bit David Trezeguet obviously started for them up front we didn't really know what to expect with him we didn't know if he was going to be in good shape or not and here's the moment the coin toss with Billy cracking guy Billy really really nice bloke the few times I've met him this was weird because like when you play Sunday League football it's are you playing into the sun do you want the wind is there a slope let's look at the captain for XO James Alcott holding in centre midfield String puller, making sure the team transitions well from the defense to the attack. So the game kicks off and you're just kind of going, right, okay, you, you want to kind of get into the rhythm of the game, understand how different people are playing, who are your center midfielders that you got to deal with. And they're looking to, looking to get in there straight away. Quite quickly, you start to realize that this is a really, really big pitch. And also there's a lot of nervous energy in that first 10 minutes. Great touch from Sian there. That, that's the second one. Awful challenge on me, lad, from Simmons again. Like, that's my sort of second touch there. So able to get the ball, get out wide to Cam. That was the kind of idea for me, is that like, look, when I get on the ball, feel comfortable, trust the pitch, trust your touch, and try and find someone. But there's two bad challenges there from Simmons. And obviously, look, it's the first three minutes of the game, so I understand, but give a foul at least. Big, t big, big tackle from Simmons. Got the ball that time, so there's not much you can say, and then they're through. On the attack, Billy obviously has got real pace. Great trickery as well. Good cross. It's a good chance for Trezeguet, really. Look, the guy's a World Cup winner. And we were worried about corners. Everyone's small, apart from Adam Boltwood and Aaron Murray. But apart from that, we haven't really got any height at all. Mike comes for it. Ooh. Oh. Incredible. Bradley Simmons again. I didn't think I was going to talk about him this much. But look, he's brave there to win the header, but we get a lot of luck there as it hits the post. And then Leroy with an unbelievable jump to get us out of trouble. And then there's our boy, Cafu. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> we're all coming across just, yeah, this guy's the real deal. A lot of my touches in the middle there were kind of, you know, you've got two touches to sort it out. And here's one, Adam drills it to me there. Pleased with the turn and pleased with being strong enough to kind of get my feet moving and then get the ball to Tom and then we can kind of go. And now this is it. This I lost my lost my um, temper here a little bit at Derma O'Leary because this is a terrible, terrible foul. Look how late it is. This is a sin bin. That is a sin bin. Could have broken his ankle. Look, I don't want anyone getting sent off, but you can't be making tackles like that. I think sometimes when it's an event like this and like everyone wants to play, you don't want to be doing that kind of stuff. But as we'll see later on in the game, he does sin bin someone. And is there that consistency? Not in my opinion. Boltwood having his moment there, getting clapped off. He was loving every second of it. And then that is the moment of the entire game. Milad just waved away. Get out of my sight. I'm taking this. It was actually a really bad free kick. That's been watched a good few times. Milad and the guys at Football Daily were on that straight away. Joe Tomlinson from Football Daily, I was chatting to him after the game, and he said the amount of DMs he's got of someone just... The video of Cafu just going, get out of the way, Milad. Cafu here is telling Christian to come over to the left. Christian's like, oh, right, okay. He was actually really, really vocal. And when he tells you to do something, it's Cafu. You haven't really got a leg to stand on. So you just do as you're told. So here we're, we're, we're on, I'm on the edge of the box here. And I thought, can I get involved? Because I could see Christian was happy to kind of sit. So I was now looking to try and get involved. And you're about to see my, my moment and probably our best chance really in the game. I'm there in the middle looking just to kind of, and then it just falls to me. And I just had a split second to think about it. It's a tight angle, and I thought afterwards I was a bit gutted. Oh, have I? Could I have taken a touch here? Let's watch it back. But I thought maybe let it come across my body, and can I curl it into that far left corner? But I just didn't find it right. It was kind of bobbling. It was a tough one to to hit properly. Did well there. Bond the header off David Trezeguet. Jot, jot that down. So we're getting up to 14 minutes now, and look, this was the idea: can we get to half time? Can we get to man down? 
and then there was a bad clearance, or not the clearance that Aaron would have wanted, and the ball's there, and I just saw Jeremy having that opportunity, and I totally took him out. I had to do it. And this is the scariest moment of the whole game for me. You can see me just chop him there. It's totally on purpose, to be honest. And this is where I'm really worried. We've got a freestyler who's known for free kicks. And then we're doing, setting up the wall. And my, I'm going, do you want me in the wall on the edge of the wall where he's going to probably curl it from there? Because I'm obviously a little guy. And I normally with a wall, I'm like, don't hit me, don't hit me. But this wall, I was like, please. I was so switched on. Like, if it was coming near me, I was going to win that header because my heart was in my mouth here. I would have been so upset if he'd scored from here. And watch the replay here, because you see me. Look, I'm not a religious guy, but straight after this, I look to the heavens because I am so relieved. Look, there you go. Just literally <laughs> look up, because that is the last thing I wanted was Jeremy Lynch scoring a free kick. But Mike did the save uh, at half time. I went straight up to him and gave him a big kiss, because that would have been devastating. Leroy stepping up again with a great header, and we're there. We're at half time, absolutely huge. And then when we went off to the side, we were like, Brian came straight up to me. I think you see it here for a second. Brian came straight up to me and he said, I want to stick with this team. I think you can do something. And look, there you go. You can see Brian talking to me there going, I think this is what we should do. And I was happy to go with it. I fucking overestimate them. Yeah. We can play football, such a big pitch, we can do it. Yeah. Let's get it to Sean's feet, get it to Tom's feet. Then we get a throw down that end. Take your time, because our, our aim at the start, we're halfway there. Our aim at the start was to get to man down them and see what happens, because he did something special, yeah. 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 whoever. Yeah. It's going to be stretched at times, so we've just got to deal with that. Just hang in there, lads. What did we say? What we said five times. Yeah. Dig in. Yes. Let's do it, lads. We can fucking do something. Come on! Come on! Here he is, playing smart, obviously, excellent organizer, seen so many plays, knows where to be. You just wish, I, it would be kind of fun to see Cafu just bomb down the line. So Cafu refused to play it long. So getting on the ball here, just trying to keep it, and we were able to. Aaron, like I said, is so competent on the ball, you can give it to him and totally trust him. CN does really well here, so it's quite a difficult throw, and then he's able to switch the ball to Aaron. Aaron, you look, he is playing left centre back, but he's also, because Cam's position was actually quite good, he was able to get up the pitch. And then he's putting a decent ball here to Tom. And then Tom just wasn't able to get that. I think, again, a bit like me, when we got in the box, actually, we could have calmed down a little bit, but we, we hadn't got up there enough. And because of that, we were maybe a little bit nervous and we were just trying to get our shot off. Win him a header there in the middle. Pleased with that. So that he can't show what he can do. Ooh. Ooh. That's another one. Get a bit it. chippy here. This is my point. It's like, look, it's a, it's a contact sport. I understand it, but that is a tackle through the back of our player from behind. That's known as a red card a lot of the time. So how is he getting away with that sin bin? These things are massive decisions. If we've got 11 men and they've got 10, it gives us a huge advantage. And and, and that's that's how these games change a lot of the time. Those kind of moments. Dermot Gallagher bottled it time and again in this. He was poor. He was really poor. He just let things go. Like for both sides, there were a couple of tackles at Vars that were bad as well. But uh, to be honest, generally, theirs were a lot worse. There's four I've counted already. Tom was able to play in Elliot. That was one of the best combinations that we've got with those two players. Elliot now finally getting the ball, and he does brilliantly. He gets to the byline and gets his cross in. Sian wasn't there in time. I think we gave him a bit too much respect. Cafu didn't know. Look, just let him. What's the first rule of football? Don't let the ball bounce. Yes. Couldn't give a shit. That's how good he was. Oh, and again, I'm saying the same thing again. No. Cafu doesn't give a fuck. Look at that first touch. Oh no. We have now Kevin Deserper, me and him had a little bit of a battle in there. The main reason it was a battle was because he kept diving. The foul. Cafu again, look, he's playing left wing now. I saw it coming, Bright he thought I was gonna struggle with it, played in Steven and that's a late challenge from Jeremy on Steven. This is where I went mad at Kevin Deserper because that is a blatant dive. And you'll see the replay in a second. You can see me go like that because I'm so annoyed him, and I call him a I call him a fucking cheat. Will and he then takes out Simmons. That that could have been a Simbin. And he was smiling, which I think didn't help later down the line when he took out uh, Jeremy and got Simbin. Was because he put a smile on his face. Dermot Gallagher, I think, thought it was okay. But look, there's the turn there, and it's an embarrassing dive. You'll see it from this angle now. He does a bite of it, and if you see me, look, I'm fuming because he's cheating. I said to him, you're too good a player to be behaving like that. Lads, 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 get in, get in, get in. Lads, get in. Lads. Lads, did you come? Everyone, everyone. Lads. Hey, this was our game plan, just stay in it. We're still in it, lads. We need one 
I just thought if Elliot gets one chance, we even one one-on-one -on -one situation, this guy is such a good footballer that we've got a chance. God, I haven't told you about this. So, Kaffir's run here, I inspired Kaffir's run. As we went onto the pitch, he went, man down, man down. And I said, yeah, yeah, so players come off. And I said, fancy a run? And he gave me the biggest smile, he went, okay, okay. And then he did it like two minutes later. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, his just... pride has kicked in. When you're in the middle of man down, what's mad is you hear that siren, you go, yeah, okay. And you don't really notice that players are going. You're still kind of, that's one thing I think we were a little bit green on was the fact that we should have tweaked our shape as the players kind of went off. Pleased with that, read that um, pass there. I knew he was going to look for that ball in behind. I was able to read it and get the ball to Tom King. Geordie's one touch there. 100% pass completion from Brian. He's got to be pleased with that. Lars with a good pass, good early ball. Did well, Lars. It's not easy coming on as a substitute. I thought he did really, really well. See, for me, this is just about now you've got who to can keep, survive. You've got to keep the ball. Now, Will. Oh, that's a sin bin for sure. You've got to throw him out. Will and E. Will get oh, sin bin oh, oh, oh. here. I think that's fair enough. It's the right decision. Were there other players that should have done it before and should have been sin binned? Yes, absolutely. I think Will's reputation got the better of him there. It's a bad tackle. It's not even, he's not even disguised it, and so he's had to go off. And still put another player on. They're not down a man. He just can't come back into the I should have gone, right, everyone just come back. Let's just defend this. Let's get through this moment and then figure it out from there. Because look, if you look at Tom King and Elliot, both of them are quite far forward. and Both of them are allowing just a straight pass forward. I should have grabbed them back and said, look, come back here. Let's just get through this moment and then, then we'll carry on and just stay in the game instead of allowing them to do this. Because then they were able to pass it round. It's a hard cross. Oh, no, oh it's all over. This is it. Dan, it's I think Dan will be a little it's bit disappointed. Finished. He probably Randy would Simmons. want to hold on to it. I, look, I'm not a goalkeeper, so that's not for me to say. But then it's fallen for him. And again, it's one of those moments where you're just like, are we going to get lucky? No, we're not. It was a bizarre way for the game to end for me because I, I ended up in the goal. I was just, look, you can see me across the line and then I'm trying to get across. And there I am, crossing the line. And it's... It's gutting because we'd worked so hard. We'd worked so hard. But they look, they deserved the win. It was always going to be like that. The balance of play was going to be with them. And we had to see if we could get a chance and do a job on them. But, and we, for 60 minutes now, they haven't been able to score uh, against us over 60 minutes. And then it was only when it got to man down. It was a bit of sweet feeling. The whole day was it was one of the most special special days of my life, and especially certainly my footballing career. And but obviously, right at the end of that, there's always that taste of like we took this team all the way, but we couldn't couldn't create enough. I walk away from it with a big smile on my face, very proud of the work that I put in in the lead up to it and what we achieved on the day. We gave a great account of ourselves and for that we can be proud. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos. If you have done, then hit that subscribe button. Remember those shout outs. Go on my Twitter and follow me on Twitter. Retweet my tweet to this video. Go on Instagram, leave a comment below asking for a shout out and in my next video, you'll get a shout out. Like this video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the Wembley Cup. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.